welcome back. We've talked a lot about the first article. Less, uh, we meaning y'all, myself, anyone else gathered around, we've talked about the first article a lot. And it's all about God creating. And this is the thing, when God creates something, he cares about it. He creates everything in existence and he cares about preserving it. So God went green before anybody else did. He cares about the lilies of the field. He cares about how much uh, the ozone uh, is is dealing with how how much uh, greenhouse gases are there. He cares about the ice in the north and the south poles. He cares about all this stuff, and he preserves and protects. We confess this in the first article of the small catechism, that not only has God created me and everything else, he also protects it from all danger and guards and defends me from all evil. So this means he's, he's protecting my livelihood, now, does that mean I can just go out and do what I want? Oh, I'm going to go out during a thunderstorm and put a golf club up in the air and say, let's see what happens. God will know that's being stupid. That's testing and tempting God. And that's not what's being said here. But what God does do is even if you are that dumb to do that, and if you've done that and you've lived, well, maybe, I don't know. You're just a fun person anyways. But even if you do that, God will still carry you onto the realm immortal. He'll still protect you in that way. But in this life, he protects us by giving us the blessed angels to guard over us, to defend us from the evil one, that devil that prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. We're protected. Luther made a point one time that realized even when you sleep, how much is coming against you, the demonic forces, and yet God preserves you while you slumber. But when we wake up, we act like, okay, it's not God's job anymore. Now it's up to me to protect myself all day now. And that's not the case. No, God is always protecting you, always shielding you. Kind of gets to that uh, prayer of St. Michael the Archangel, right? You know, be our protector in battle against the snares and wickedness of the devil. If you've ever seen, um, oh man, I just missed what the... Gangs of New York, you know, Liam Neeson at the beginning. It's a good movie. Never mind. Maybe children don't see that one. Or ask your parents. You know what? I'm not your parent. Ask your mom and dad. Talk to them about it. Maybe your dad's not a big Leo fan. Maybe your mom's a big Daniel Day-Lewis fan. I don't know. I don't live in your house. But we'll see what happens. But the thing is, God protects us. That's the main point I'm making here in this roundabout way. That he preserves you. He's created you. He's not going to then say, go out and let's see what happens. He is always watching over you and protecting you. Because you are his beloved creation. And he will shield you under the ages of ages so that you can dwell with him forever. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. We are the pro-life generation. That's what today's high school and university students are calling themselves. Why are youth for life? Lutherans for Life's Why for Life community helps answer the question. Why for Life engages and equips today's learners to be tomorrow's leaders through education, networking, and service. Learn more about bringing Why for Life to your church and school at whyforlife.org. That's the letter Y, the number four, L-I-F-E dot org.